food for fighters. What is that? It's exactly the topic that we're going to cover today for the combat world. And for those who are just athletic, you can go ahead and piggyback this ride too. So we're going to cover three do's and three don'ts. Our objective is to make sure that you have clear insight on how to operate as a fighter athlete. Now, we're going to get into it. The first thing, and you know I was going to hit something that you did not want me to say. And it is probably number one on that food chart of junk food. Cheese. We know it's in the food groups, but it's totally not great for you. High in calorie and cholesterol. So what do we do? We replace it with feta cheese, which is higher in protein. At the same time, it's much, much healthier. So that will be our first substitution. Now our next substitution is something that I think is part of my own personal food group. Number one, fries and chips. So I just decided to give you a twofer. Fries, we're kind of going to go symmetrical with that one. And we're going to replace that with sweet potatoes. So you can make sweet potato fries. Now when it comes down to your chips, the chips, oh, you can go straight across the board to your greens and use kale chips. Now I was introduced to this several years ago and I thought how can kale be as good as chips? How can it replace it? You will be surprised at how amazing it tastes. So um, I'm only going to give you things that I know you can tolerate. Kale. Put it in the oven. Extra virgin olive oil. Toast it with a little Himalayan salt. Oh my gosh, it's off the chain. Crunch, crunch. Just like chips. Now we're going to go to number three, which is something that we all have struggled with. Our drinks. Sodas. And we can't go on in life and survive all, you know, acid and sugar. So we're going to replace that to make sure that you are on scale, on point, and you're dropping weight the right way. And we're going to replace that with lime and water. Now you can get a little fancy with it and add a little stevia, give it a little flavor. But at the same time, our objective is to get rid of that acid. The body needs to not be acidic. And we're gonna make sure that we get rid of all of those sugars. And that's what it is, my friend. We just covered three replaceables. And that's where we start. Keep it simple, stay on point during the wait. And if you guys need to know a little bit more about some other substitutions, or just basically change your whole food group up together, you can find it over at masterboxingllc.com. And I'm meal plan. My name is Eric A. Bradley, and I thank you guys for watching. This is Master Boxing. So you'll get your master's degree in the science of boxing. Remember, fight food first. Peace.